I was born and raised in Miami. I was born in Miami, uh, raised here as well. Well, really, I call a lot of places home because ever since I was about five, six years old, we've been traveling like crazy, you know? I mean, I was born here and this is my home for sure. We were in New York and then New York, I love New York. LA, I got family in LA. I got family in Spain. I got family in Mexico. I have family in Puerto Rico, in Dorado. I have family in- Oh, okay. Dorado. So, I mean, I've got a very multicultural family. All right, cool. Um, so, uh, being that you're a singer and an actor, um, do you prefer either, or they, they're both your first love? They're both my first love, for sure. I started as a musician. I started doing music, but definitely, I think that, you know, I think the soap opera helped us out tremendously, and, and it's, uh, I love for it in a different way, you know. It's a totally different of art that satisfies me in different ways. And until now, I've been able to do both, uh, and, uh, and, you know, God willing, and the people allow me to, and the... And the press allows it now. I would love to not have to. Oh, okay, cool, man. Um, what have been some of your musical influences? Oh, we come from a family. We just, uh, that love music. My grandfather loved music. My brother, rest in peace, you know, he loved music. He loved dancing. He, he gave me my first guitar. And my, uh -huh. my grandfather, he gave me piano. And, my grandmother from my dad's side would sing, you know, she loved singing and uh, did it as a hobby though. So uh, my father's a songwriter, some of the first songs I had. So, uh, you know, it was, it's just kind of been there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just kind of been in the family. I, I have influence from every single style of music you can possibly think of. Uh, pop, you know, whether it's hip hop, or B, whether it's rock, because I'm an uh, oldies rock fan, big time. Nice. A lot of the, the composition and the music I do comes from that style more than anything, blues and jazz. And uh, what's it also, I also opera. I sang opera for four years. And wow. So with the new single, Boost Comet, we did the dance remixes. Um, what did you think about the dance remixes of it? I heard every single version. I fell in love with every single version. I'll be honest. Cool. With you, bro. So, so uh, mad respect. And again, thank you, bro, because I, I think that what we're doing with all these versions is we're, we're reaching out to different audiences. Being that you speak English and Spanish, have you ever considered doing a, a crossover album, an English album? Sure, we talked about it a lot. Uh, I, I would love to. As a matter of fact, Amor Quédate did in English. Uh, okay. Now that you're shooting the single, the video for the single Boost comment, um, is there a concept or what should we expect in the video? Oh, oh, no, no, for sure. And that, that we're filming the video, is there a concert in the video? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, one of the things we wanted to show with this track, which is completely different from Porquete, with like the other side of the coin, uh, let's get away a little bit from the romance and the intimacy and the yeah stuff. We want to lose the tie. Of it. Oh, okay. You know, show them that another side to this album is another side to our art. Which is so romantic. Exactly. We can party and we can party hard. <laughs> and we also want to dedicate the fans, all the yeah. fans who've been supporting us from the very beginning, just dedicated to them. I want to show that relationship, uh, that bond between the fans and between us. You know. So there definitely is a concert within the within the uh, concept of the video where it shows the love that we've got between our, you know, my fans and, and I and. Uh, and uh, I hope y'all like it, man. We were, we filmed it uh, yesterday, and, and I'm excited about it because it came out. <laughs> <laughs>